What's going on everybody? It's Mike from Patriot Considerations here. Today I'm going to be going over the Radian Afterburner and Ramjet. I purchased it myself, no one sent it to me, Radian didn't pay me to make this video or anything like that. I'm just a no-name YouTube channel. This is the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner. This compensator, first and foremost with reliability, I have shot about nine or ten different types of ammunition from like six or seven different manufacturers through it, and it has been 100% reliable the entire time. I have shot Winchester, Federal, Norma, um, Spear, I've shot 115, 124, 147 grain ammo. I've shot my ammo sponsor for this channel, go check them out, 2AAmmo.com. They have some really great, super clean burning 124 grain 9 mil that I've been shooting for about a year now. Um, and I have ran about 2,500 rounds through this specific compensator barrel setup on this gun. This has been 100% reliable the entire time I have had it. I have not had any weird feeding issues, no weird chamber issues. Recoil impulse on this drops a Glock 19, which is not too bad. It's a little snappy, but not too bad. It drops it down to right around what a Glock 34 would feel like. It slows the slide reciprocation, like the slide velocity down a little bit, um, and the dot in the window, as long as you have good fundamentals, good grip, pressures, all of that. Uh, you can track the dot, the entire recoil impulse, uh, making for some very fast shooting. Check this footage out. As far as the function and mounting of it goes, this mounts using a single taper screw. The taper screw does not need to be thread locked or anything like that. It just runs straight in and it mounts up perfectly. It indexes on the barrel using that those flats on the front of the barrel there, which means there is no timing whatsoever. You just slide it up, slide the barrel in, slide the comp on the end, and then run in that taper screw right on the front right there and you are done. Looking at the inside of the comp, there is no erosion or anything like that, nothing to be worried about. It looks as clean as the day I got it. The gun is not overdriven at all. I believe the recoil impulse is very smooth, very pleasant, and I really think that uh, if I get any more Glocks, they're probably all gonna have that Radian comp on it, simply because I have had such good luck with it. I have been running the stock 18 pound, I believe it's 18 pound recoil spring assembly the entire time I have had it, and it has been 100% reliable with every single type of ammo I've shot from the weakest 115 grain to some really spicy 147 grain plus peas. It has ran everything quite well. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment below if you'd like to see something else in particular in the near future. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down or just give me a thumbs up anyways and let me know in the comments if I can do anything better for next time. This is Mike from Patriot Consideration signing off. I'll see you in the next one.